First thing we're going to need to do is prep some ingredients. So take a really, really sharp knife and we want to dice some onion nice and fine. So dice your onion nice and fine, pop it into a bowl and just place that to one side while we prepare our garlic. Spend a few minutes chopping your garlic as fine as you can get it. Pop your garlic to one side with your onion. We want to take a nice large mixing bowl, chuck in our beef and pork mince, a teaspoon of our garlic, a nice generous pinch of dried oregano, and we want to soak our slices of bread in our whole milk. Squeeze out the excess, and then we want to use about a slice and a half in our mixture, along with a nice generous pinch of our parsley. Season the mix generously, chuck in our egg, and then give that a really good mixing through. Don't go crazy, but get it nicely mixed. And then we want to put together our meatballs one by one. Don't compress them too much so they're really dense. We want them nice and light. Work those in the flour, knock off the excess, and you can make them as big or as small as you like. I generally make them about the size of a golf ball. Once we've made our meatballs, chuck them to one side and we're going to crack on with our sauce. We want to take a high walled saucepan, add a really nice generous splash of our extra virgin olive oil. When that starts to come up to heat, chuck in our diced white onion, season that generously and we want to gently sweat off our onion until it's nice and soft. And then we add a teaspoon or two of our garlic, give that another minute and then we go in with a nice heaped, generous tablespoon of tomato paste. Give that another two or three minutes and chuck in a couple of tins of our plum tomatoes. Break those up in the pan and we wanna cook this through for a good half an hour. Reduce it down till it's really nice and thick, rich and jammy. Pop it to one side and now we're gonna shallow fry our beautiful meatballs. Get some oil in a pan, get that nice and hot, and then gently lay in our meatballs. And we want to shallow fry our meatballs for a couple of minutes in the oil. We want them beautifully golden brown on all sides. But take your time, move them around in the pan, and when they're beautifully golden brown, we want to pop them back into our tomato sauce. And then, Pop our sauce back on the hob and chuck in our meatballs. They'll finish cooking off in the sauce. So chuck them in, give them a good mix through, and then we want to pop our sauce and meatballs to one side while we cook off our pasta. Take another saucepan, plenty of boiling water, season the water very generously and chuck in your dried spaghetti. Now cook this about two or three minutes shy of the time it says on the packet. So 10 minutes, give it eight. And then when it's beautifully al dente, chuck it into the sauce and give that a good mix through. about a ladle or a quarter of a cup of our pasta water. And now, we are ready to serve our spaghetti and meatballs. And as far as I'm concerned, there's only one way to serve good spaghetti and meatballs, and that's with some beautiful crusty bread and some gorgeous Italian red wine. Tear over a nice generous handful of fresh basil leaves and a nice, generous shaving Parmesan cheese. And there we have everyone's favourite spaghetti and meatballs, a real classic.